Okay, good day everyone. Here is an exciting, another exciting part of uh, Flabulous part number two. So go to your Schoology, Flabulous part number two, week number 12. Click on week number 12 and you're able to see Flabulous part number two. Uh, in here, you are able to see week number 12. You're able to see two files. One is the file which we're going to read the questions and one is the data link for Flabulous part number two. Click on it and it will open up your database to download. So it will download, click on download button. It will download your Flabulous part number two. You download that on your local computer. It will take a minute or so and that will open up your Flabulous. So it uh, downloads, go to your downloads now. So click on downloads and you will able to see Flabulous part number two in a zip folder. You cannot use this file. So we have to open up uh, this folder without the zip. Right click on it, extract all, and then we are extracting it. Now you're able to see two different folders, one with the zip, one without the zip. Perfect. So it will take a minute and it will open up the zipper folder into a regular file folder, right? So in here, you're able to see one with the zip, one without the zip. Without the zip, double click on it, double click on it again, double click, and then you're able to see Flabulous SAI, which is in a blue icon. This is the file you're going to work on. Double click on it, and it will open up your Sage database. So Sage database, once it opens up the Sage database, you're able to see the Sage file, the Flabulous file, it will open and it will ask you the date. Date is February 7th. We are not going to change the date. So keep the date as February 7th. Press OK. You press OK and that will open up our database, which is Flabulous. So how can we see this is the right file on your left hand side? You're able to see Flabulous Fitness on your right hand side. You're able to see session date February 7th. So that means this is the right file to work on. We have the right database now. Now we are going to read the question one by one and start solving the questions, recording the questions. Perfect. Okay. How? Let's take a look. Open up this Flabulous file. We have now this these questions right in here. And we are going to read the questions one by one and start punching the questions into our database or into our uh, Flabless folder. So now, what is the question? Payment check number 252, February 4th, to Footlink Corporation, 16,640 in payment of account, including 160 discount for early payment, reference invoice number FC-618. So this is a payment check. Karan comes to me, asks me, sir, this invoice, this invoice has already been made. Why? Because the reference invoice is given to you right there. So we do not have to make this invoice. We have to find this invoice. Where is this invoice? This is a payment check, right? So we are going to check the payment check. No problem. Let's go to our, so payment check under receivables, it's receipts. Under payables, it's payments. So click on payments and payments and this window will open now what was the check number check number was 242252 already here what was the name of the company the name of the company is footlink corporation click on it the invoice number automatically comes on before doing that we have to change the date february 4th okay now click on your invoice click on your invoice press the tab button as soon as you press the tab button, it, the discount automatically comes on. You do not have to punch in any number. It will automatically comes on as per the question for $160. Tab again, and it will give you $16,640 again as a payment amount. Now, tab again, and it will go to the comment section. Do not leave the comment empty. Karen comes to me, sir, what do you want to do in the comment? It is already given to you in the question. Reference, reference invoice number. What's the number? FC-618. Perfect. Question done. Now we are going to take a look at the report. Both sides balancing. So both sides are balancing. Yes, it is. Now we are able to go ahead and post it. 
So it says the transaction was posted successfully. Question number 12 is done. Part number two, question 12, done. Close that window, go back to your original window. So this is your original window. Now, next one, receipt number 39, question number 13, receipt number 39, date February 4, 2019 from Red River College, that's the name of the company, check number 4782, payment by the check, how much? $5,537 in payment of account, including 113 discount for early payment. Reference invoice number 2194. So can it also ask me, sir, what is this? So we have we do not have to make an invoice. This invoice has already been made, guys, for you. You just have to do the payment. So look for the receipt number. Let's take a look. Go to our main screen. Receipts. Payables. There's no receipts, but receivables. There are receipts in here. Click on it. And that will be open. Maximize the window. You are able to see all of it. So now, what was the check number? Check number was given to us 4782. Perfect. What was the receipt number? 39. Perfect. Okay. What was the name of the company? Name of the company is Red River College. Click on it. What is the date? Date is February 4th. So we, as soon as we put the name of the company, two invoices comes on. What invoice we are going to work on? 2194. Click on that invoice, 2194. Tab. So it will take out the discount automatically. And then the tab again, it will punch in the amount received automatically as well. Then discount taken, you have to delete it. And then again, you have to delete it. Why delete, guys? Because we are not working uh, the invoice number 3001. There's no information of that invoice, so we do not work on this invoice. We are not going to punch anything in here. Now, tab again, reference invoice. Okay, reference, reference, uh, reference invoice number. What's the number, guys? 2194. 2194. Perfect. Okay. Done the question. Now take a look at the report. Both sides balancing. Yes, both sides balancing. Perfect. And then now we can go ahead and post the question. Perfect. Okay, so we can post. And it would say this is a transaction was posted successfully. Done. Question number two or part number two. Question number 13 is done. Close that window, go back to your main window. Now, question number 14. So here is the invoice, guys. This is the normal day, daily, day-to-day -day when you work with the company or as an accountant or as a bookkeeper, you're able to see these kind of invoices. Now, I'm going to show you how to read these invoices and punch in these invoices. So it says in here, uh, who is the seller and who is the buyer? So seller is Feel Light Gym and buyer is Flabulous. So sold to, right? So customer is Flabulous Fitness. That's their address. That's their address. Phone number, all the information right here given to us. Invoice number is given to us, FG4100. February 6th given to us, the date. Then we have one, two, three, four items. All the item quantities, the codes, the item numbers are given to us. The information of total given to us freight so again the freight is given to us right in here guys freight has three different names freight delivery and shipping and handling so all of these three are the same in here it's hundred dollars it will tell you what kind of taxes they're charging their tax only one they're charging only one tax which is called gst only the total invoice num uh, amount is given to us so make sure your total invoice comes to this much amount two thousand nine hundred eighty two dollars and then the term is given to us what is the term 210 and 30 what is 210 and 30 i will give you two percent discount if you pay me in 10 days otherwise pay me the full amount which is n in 30 days so this is how we read the invoice and we understood the invoice now we are going to record the invoice perfect no problem go back to our original window and this is the sales invoice right guys so so this invoice is under payables perfect okay so payables purchase invoice this a sale a uh, fabulous is buying it so purchasing it and fleet uh, feel light is selling it so purchase invoice click on purchase invoice and then one by one it's pay later why pay later because there's a term whenever the term it's always via pay later invoice number what was the invoice number fg dash 4100 what is the date date was given to us february 6th then what is the supplier supplier is given to us 
what's the name of the supplier feel light gym accessories right and then we are going to do all the invoice all the items how many four items guys so what is the first item a050 okay so a050 how many of those quantity is five perfect tab 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 so press the tab and go to the next one tab so that was your first item next one is a060 perfect a060 click on it a060 then how many items 10 items a060 tab 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 again so come out of that uh, transaction or the entry a next one is eight a zero eight zero perfect and how many of those ten of those tab 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 and then a 100 okay and how many of those five of those tab 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 done all of my four entries are done now next one is called freight so i just explained it to you freight have three different uh, names one is freight one is delivery and one is shipping and handling in this case we have the freight so hundred dollar is our freight then tab it says g in here um uh, it automatically picks up g so to auto, autom uh, total comes to two thousand nine hundred and eighty two dollars which is exactly according to our question take a look at your uh, terms to 10 and 30 uh, invoice number date is right everything is good yes take a look at the report guys both sides balancing yes both sides and balancing good i am good with the question now i can go ahead and post the question so now in here question number 14 go back to your original window how much question number 14 is done guys question number 15 is this is this question is a receipt so receipt is under receivables let's read the question receipt number 40 february 7th brandon university check number 14701 for eight thousand eight hundred fifty nine dollars and twenty cents in the payment of account including hundred and eighty dollars eighty cents for discount for early payment reference invoices to 199 so current comes to me sir this reference invoice yes this is already made we just have to do the make the payment no problem let's go to our original window and this is a receivables receivables and receipts okay so now what is the check number guys check number is given to us in the question check number was 14701 what was the receipt number 40 and what is the name of the company name of the company is brandon university okay so brandon university what was the date february 7th the invoice automatically comes on to 199 click on it press tab it will automatically take off the discount and then amount received as well then the ref uh, comment what is the comment a reference reference invoice number 2199 perfect question done no take a look at the report guys both sides balancing yes both sides are balancing good to go now i can go ahead and post my entry I can go ahead and post my entry the transaction was posted successfully done close the window we'll go back to your original window question number 14 15 done question number 16 again this is a invoice which is a daily life or the regular life invoices which you are able to see if you're working as a bookkeeper right so most of the time you will receive something like this so in here the invoice number is given to us who is the customer who is the seller seller is fabulous who is the buyer because it says sold to lavender estates the information is given to us who is the salesperson salesperson name is given to us what is the date february 7th how many items one two three four five six items given to us delivery is fifty dollars right and there is a message authorization to exceed credit limit so this message will come on how many taxes two taxes g and p so if there's only one tax then the g code which is gst if there's uh, both taxes so the answer is gp or uh, P means PST or R means uh, retail. Both are the same. 
total invoice 6896.74 and term is given to us so what is the term 25 and 15 i will give you two percent discount if you pay me in five days otherwise pay me full amount in 15 days whenever we have a term meaning the answer is pay later okay so we understood the question now we are going to record this question let's go to our main window and this is a receivables click on receivables sales invoice and now start punching in the information so this is pay later that's good invoice number 3002 perfect what was the date february 7th do not change anything who is the customer customer is lavender states perfect okay and then who is the salesperson kiss angel perfect what was the first item number first item number a 70 perfect and how many quantity four of them so press four and then tap 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 come out of that uh, uh, first entry then b010 okay how many of those one of that tap 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 perfect and then b020 perfect b0 the answer uh, e020 sorry e020 edward e020 how many one tap 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 then e060 perfect e060 and then how many of those uh, one then tap 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 perfect and then s040 s040 perfect okay and how many of those four tap 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 perfect and then p020 the last one p020 and how much of those one of that tap 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 all done yes no but because we have the freight freight is fifty dollars okay on on freight guys it says in the question only g on freight perfect okay so i click on g only then my total comes to six thousand nine hundred eight hundred ninety six dollars and seventy four cents but can it come to me sir where stays in here J remember to change the tax code for delivery which is freight which is only the g so total comes to six thousand eight hundred ninety six dollars and seventy four cents perfect that's exactly your total on your screen check your term check is angel everything is good yes take a look at the report both sides balancing both sides are balancing guys then the question yes now i can go ahead and post now the message comes on the message what was the message authorization to increase the credit limit the answer is yes okay and then it will say the transaction was posted successfully press ok done i completed my question close that window go back to your original window question number 16 done question number 17 question number 17 let's read question number 17 but before question number 17 there is something else which given to us which is says session date february 14th so we need to change the session date how go to your main screen guys on your right hand side you're able to see session date click on it punch in with the calendar february 14th press ok it will ask you to make a backup say no not this time guys backup we will make it at the very end so it will change your session date to february 14th step number this step is done now question number 17 purchase invoice td 6891 date february 9th February 9, 2019. Uh, the name of the company, True Fit Depot. How many? Two items given to us. Freight is given to us. Only one tax is given to us. Total is $5,670. And term is 2, 5, and 20. So what is the term? I will give you 2% discount if you pay me in five days. Otherwise, pay me the full amount in 20 days. Whenever there would be a term, the answer is pay later. So make sure you have the answer comes as $5,670. We understood the question. Now we are going to record the question. No problem. Go to your main window. So it is payables. Click on payables and then purchase invoice. 
So we purchased because that was a purchase invoice. It's paid later. What was the invoice number, guys? The invoice number is given to us in the question. The invoice number is TD6891. TD6891. What was the date? February 9th. Okay. What was the, who is the supplier? The name is True Fit. Depot. Perfect. Okay. What is the item number? Item number is given to us E080. First item E080. Perfect. Quantity 2. Tab, 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 tab. Come out of the transaction. Number 2 E090. Okay. E090. Okay. Then how many? Two of them. Tab, 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 tab. Total comes to 3200. Both are good. Freight is $100. Punch $100 in there. Then it will automatically pick up G code. The total comes to $5,397. So here is the problem, guys. Your total should be $5,670. And this total would be $5,397. So both totals are different. Why? Take a look. On the first item, it says $1,840, whereas your first item says $2,100. Means when we bought this, this was at $192. Uh, it's $920. But now the price has changed. So that's why we, go, we have to go into the first item and amount change it to $2,100 manually. Press tab and then tap 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 come out of the transactions your total comes to five thousand six hundred and seventy dollars five thousand six hundred and seventy dollars both are balancing both are the same yes now take a look at the report both sides balancing both sides and balancing yes now i can go ahead and post my question this successfully posted uh, close that window go back to your original window question number 17 is done Question number 18, memo number 4, February 9th, edit the selling price to reflect the increase in purchase price for item number E080, home gym basic HG1400, the new regular map price will be 1750 and the preferred price will be 1600. That's exactly what I was telling you about, this price has increased, which item E080, okay, so where is that? So uh, the original price, the regular price now is seventeen fifty, and the preferred price is sixteen hundred. We have to change this. Go to go to your window, and go to inventory items. Now, when you inventory items, look for E zero eight zero in front of you. You are able to see E zero eight zero. Click on it, and go to the pricing. The original, it says the new regular price is, the original price is $1,600. The new regular price is $1,750. And the preferred price is $1,600. Perfect. And the web price is zero. Nothing to change in here. Put zero. No more changes. Save and close. Done. Then go back to your original window. The question number 18 is done. Question number 19. Cash price invoice WD114, date is February 9th, from Winnipeg Daily. In here, it says use quick add for new vendor. So we this vendor is not there. We have to quickly add it. $1,200 plus $60 GST and RST $96. So there's two taxes for ads to run for 12 weeks. This is what we are doing, guys. Purchase invoices, $1,356, paid in full by check number. So there's a check number given to us, 253. Create new account. We have to do one more step. We have to create a new account. What's the account number? 1290. What's the account name? Prepaid advertising. So these are the three, four steps we have to do in this question. Now let's do the question. Go to our main window and it says cash purchase. So purchase invoice, go under payables, purchase invoice. Now, uh, it's a pay later. No, it's a check, guys. What was the check number? Check number is 253. Automatic comes there. What was the invoice number? Invoice number is given to us, WD-114. Then February 9th, the date is given to us. Then the name of the company. What's the name of the company? Winnipeg Daily. Take a look. Is Winnipeg Daily there? No. So we have to write it. Winnipeg Daily. 
okay then press tab as soon as you press tab three options comes on continue quick add and full add so in the question it says click on the quick add so click on quick add and it would be added into our database now what are we doing there's no item number no quantity no unit but there is an item description what are we doing guys we are doing ads to run for 12 weeks so we are adding a campaign which runs for 12 weeks what is the price is the price for one ad no so it's an amount how much is the amount twelve hundred dollars then what is the tax code so we have two taxes given to us means that it's a gp click on the tax gp both taxes comes on yes and then the account number it says look for account number 1290 click on the magnifying glass and look for account number 1290 is it there no so we have to create it click on create what's the account number 1290 what's the account name given to us in the question prepaid advertising perfect press next until you will see the word finish so it comes right there automatically total comes to 1356 check your chat taxes both are balancing yes there's no early payment uh, invoice number date everything is good yes take a look at the report both sides balancing yes both sides balancing perfect now i can go ahead and post my question the transaction is posted successfully press ok done question number 19 is done question number 20 question number 20 let's read the question number 20 purchase invoice number rs-6112 february 12th from riverview sunoco 130 dollars including gst r and rst for gasoline purchase for daily vehicle so we are buying what are we buying we're buying gasoline means gas uh, how much 130 dollars it includes the gst and the rst means the code is in which is include code term is given to us what is the term net 21 current comes to me sir what does that mean means that we will pay you full amount in 21 days no discounts because no discount information is not given to us and the last line store as recurring by weekly entry this one we have we are doing it every two weeks so it's bi-weekly entry we understood the question now we are going to record the question let's go and record the question go to your main window and then what is it it's a purchase so it's payables purchase invoice click on purchase invoice and then pay later yes because it's an in it's a term what is the invoice number invoice number is given to us guys what's the invoice number rs-6112 what is the date date is february 12th name of the company river views noco perfect and what are we buying we are buying gasoline purchase for delivery vehicle perfect okay then the tax automatically comes on as i n how much is the total amount 130 dollars perfect uh, everything comes on tap 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 come out of the uh, transaction total comes to 130 dollars net is 21 done no we are going to do one last step which is store as by weekly entry where is that guys right under the file menu you have the third icon do not click on it it stays store as a recurring transaction click on it now it will store as monthly change it to by weekly press ok once you've done it take a look at the report both sides balancing yes both sides balancing done the question yes now i can go ahead and post it the transaction was posted successfully press ok close that window go back to your original window question number 20 done now question number 21 the last question question number 21 again this is the invoice which is the daily life invoices which you are getting on a regular basis as a bookkeeper so invoice is from who's the cust who's the buyer and who's the seller so seller is in here fabulous fitness and who's the buyer the forks film corp both addresses are given to us salesperson name is given to us date is given to us item one two three four five six seven eight items given to us 
then the message preferred customer discounts and free delivery the free delivery message given to us right in here then how many taxes two taxes gst psd total invoice six thousand four hundred seventy dollars and thirty eight cents and term is given to us two fifteen and thirty i will give you two percent discount if you pay me in 15 days otherwise pay me the full amount in 30 days what is the answer answer is pay later so we understood the uh, invoice we understood the question now we are going to record the question one by one go to your main window guys and this is a purchase invoice payable uh, this is a selling invoice because flabble is sales that so that means this is a sales invoice click on sales invoice and then go to this is pay later invoice number what was the invoice number guys 3003 yes what's the date february 14th what's the name of the client name of the client is the forks film corporation yes it is then the salesperson record george what was the first item number first item number is a010 a010 how many of those two of those tap 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 come out of that transaction then a030 perfect how many of those 80 of those how many tap 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 come out of the transaction then a060 okay how many of those three of them tap 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 come out of the transaction then a070 perfect how many of those eight tap 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 come out of the transaction next one a080 how many of those two of them tap 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 come out of the transaction guys then a100 how many of those two of them tap 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 then e060 perfect e060 okay how many of those two of them tap 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 come out of the transaction then e080 okay and how many of those one of them tap 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 come out of the transaction all the eight items count them one two three four five six seven eight eight items are done then no delivery so delivery is zero in here total comes to six thousand four hundred and seventy dollars and 38 cents exactly according to your question 215 and 30 everything looks good record george yes everything looks good guys uh, take a look at the report both sides balancing both sides are balancing yes now i can go ahead and post my question the transaction was posted successfully perfect close this close this window go back to original window all the questions are done guys now we can go ahead and back up the database so we done all record all the questions close it will ask you to make a backup yes press yes only difference what you're going to do you're going to see my name in here change your name and the next step you're going to do one more step first change your name my name and then uh, your id then your class id flabulous this is part number two change it please and this time you have to change the location as well so where click on browse where we all all time save always on desktop click on desktop and save on desktop you have to save on desktop otherwise it will not make a backup for you so click on desktop it will take on desktop press ok it will process and it will save your file on desktop so it will take as backup incomplete and it will verify your backup and it will say backup complete press ok opening database it will close all the windows for you okay and now go to your desktop now you're able to see on desktop in here backup Tariq and fabulous to one you have cab you right click on it and rename the file with two only so we are going to change to two and cab as well so d o c x 
So this is how you're going to change the file name. It will ask you want to change. Press yes. Now this file will easily attach with your email to send it to your teacher. So you can go ahead and send it to teacher uh, as soon as you can. And that is Labulous part number two. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next exciting uh, chapter of Sage 50 uh, next time. Thank you very much and take care.